743. Welcome back to the program. It is Thursday. It's the 10th day of March and obviously lots of people in town visiting and you looking for some other things you might be able to get out and do, Jackie. Well, so kids are going to be home from school and parents are like, okay, what do we do now? <laughs> we got to do something. <laughs> and we want to let people know that there are some great activities that you can enjoy and a lot of those can be found at the State Historical Building. Andrew Harrington, Exhibits Manager at the State Historical Museum of Iowa, joining us right now and uh, the activities actually start tomorrow, don't they? They do. They start tomorrow. Uh, so the exhibit is, is Portrait of Maquoketa, the Dimensional View. It opens tomorrow. Uh, we're open 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So our official public opening is tomorrow, and the exhibit will be up through the end of August. Okay, so, so what is exhi this exhibit? Tell us a little bit more. So the exhibit, it's... Um, is an artist. Her name is Rose Franson. Okay. She's from Makokata, um, a native of Makokata, and she had this idea to invite anyone in town who wanted to come and have their portrait painted by her. So over a 12-month period, she set up a shop on Main Street in Makokata, um, and people could come, sign up, and they would sit for a four to five hour uh, session and have their portrait painted. So she did 180 of these oh my wow. goodness. over a period of 12 months. What medium did she use? Uh, it's oil. It's oil. oil paintings, and she used this a la prima um, method, which is Essentially, you're painting the whole portrait at once. You're not doing a little bit, letting it dry, and then coming back right. to it the next day. You're, you're doing starting it and finishing it all in yeah. one session. Got so it. it's, um, it's. I would think it, that would be harder. Yes, it's. It takes a lot of skill, yeah. a lot of stamina, um, both for the painter and the person is sitting there for four to five hours. Right. But she had these wonderful conversations with the people in town. Really got to know um, her town. She grew up there, but. Um, you know, really got to know people in depth. So these portraits were actually on view at the Smithsonian wow. um, several years ago um, at the portrait gallery How there. How big are they? So each portrait is 12 inches by 12 inches. Okay. And so then after, um, after the exhibit at the Smithsonian, uh, they were put on view at the Figgy Art Museum in Davenport. Quad Cities, yeah. In Quad Cities. And she had this idea to create these vertical panels that the portraits would be on the backs of them. The other side of the panels would have um, this landscape painting. So there were 34 panels. Oh, and cool. each, oh my goodness. Each, uh, each panel would have a section of the landscape painted on it. The panels in the far back are almost 11 feet tall. The ones up front are just wow. over three feet. When you sit in this one spot in the gallery, all of the panels line up perfectly and you get this panoramic view of Makokata from the hills just north of town. And it creates this really um, unusual three-dimensional effect when you're sitting in this one sweet spot in the gallery. And Is it, it marked all, or do you have to kind of no, find yep, it yourself? There's, nope, there's a chair there. There's a chair there and you can either close one eye or you can keep both eyes open. Um, either way, oh, it's, cool. it's, a, it's an amazing yeah. effect. Wow. Um, she spent six months painting just the landscape side, 16-hour days. Oh my goodness. Um, an incredible amount of work and it really shows. Wow. Okay. And they how have long to is check that out. Yeah, yeah. How long is this exhibit open? So it's open through the end of August. Through the end of August. Okay. Mm -hmm. so a little bit of an opportunity. Yes. But if you're looking for something to do with the entire family, this is an opportunity to do so. And how much would it cost to come and see this exhibit? So we're always free. Right. Free and open to the public. Um, seven days a week. Uh, uh, Monday through Saturday, we're open 9 a.m. through 4:30 p.m. Sundays noon to 4:30 p.m. Okay. So that's the, the main exhibit that's going on <laughs> starting tomorrow. But you have activities next week too, right? Absolutely. So so Monday through Friday, each day we'll have um, some portrait related activities each day from 1 to 3 p.m. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll have a group called the Portrait Studio, which will have a Des Moines based artist uh, actually in the gallery. And so visitors can come and have their portrait sketched by, oh, by wow. a, a Des Moines based artist. Um, so that's 1 to 3 every day. Oh, fun. And, and we'll have some, some other activities that, that people can do, some, some hands on activities. And then um, each each day at 1 p.m. we will be offering free um, a free vault tour as well of our collections vault. I've never been in there. Um, it's it's a great experience. Um, a lot of great things to see. Folks can sign up for that online at iowahistory.org. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But you do need to sign up for it. Do you need to sign up for it um, because we we do get a lot of um, a lot of folks wanting wanting to do this. So um, we do ask you um, to please sign up for okay. that. Okay. IowaHistory.org. Some more information on that too. How perfect activities. You know yeah. the vault to see all the history that's involved with that uh, place. The amazing mm -hmm. art going on. I mean, a perfect thing for the entire family. Absolutely free. Why wouldn't you want to go check? Now, tell everybody out? where you guys are located. So we're located at 600 East Locust Street, um, just west of the Capitol building. Uh, we do have free parking just north of the building, um, the corner of Grand and Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So there's a free garage there, free and open to the public. So um, it's a uh, it's uh, very uh, welcome. The cost is perfect, yeah, and uh, right. we'd love to see everyone come out. Well, that sounds like a great that's idea. A, I guess that's so a great idea. You go to the museum, hang out in the East Village, and. We're yeah. not even on go. spring break, and I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of things going on. So if Absolutely. you're in from out of town and you're wondering what in the world you could do uh, during the daytime, you know, this could be something you might be able to enjoy. And it doesn't cost you anything either. Wonderful. Thank Absolutely. you so much Thank for coming in, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. It's 10 minutes before the top of the hour. We'll be right back.